Tonight, Two on Your Side is getting answers about the town of Tonawanda's plan to build a brand new ice rink. The town board is now reviewing plans for a new rink unveiled earlier tonight. Today I looked at whether something like this is worth the investment of taxpayer dollars. We've lost a lot of hockey players. 62% of our hockey players are playing outside the town. Town of Tonawanda Council Member Dan Krangle says when you see the shape the town's two ice rinks are in, it's easy to understand why. Even the refrigeration systems are 60 years old. They're dinosaurs. We had a consultant come in here and he said this should, these, these components should be in a museum. Krangle voted in favor of building a new ice rink last month, but the measure failed by one vote. A feasibility study shows Brighton Arena has already lost $100,000 in sales because athletes are going elsewhere. Brighton and Lincoln Arena were the jewel rinks. Now outside of out the area here, uh, those rinks are in better shape than ours right now. With new rinks opening in recent years in Lockport and at Harbor Center, the study showed families would rather drive to the newer rinks than use the old ones. The proposal calls for a new 750-seat rink to be built alongside Brighton Arena. Lincoln Arena would become a field house with all-purpose turf. Both would be open year-round. The economic impact, just the restaurants alone and the hotels alone, uh, the national term was held at Amherst. They had a team staying out in Chittawaga. So the restaurants, the hotels here would fill up. Uh, it, it's definitely an, an economic impact for the whole community. Krangle says the new rink and field house come with a price tag of $7.1 million. They would cost taxpayers about $10 a year until the bond is paid off. Krangle thinks it's worth it. They're all going to come back. It's going to be a great facility. They'll have locker rooms. They'll have showers. Um, the facilities we have now, we've outgrown them. Bottom line. Krangle expects a town council vote to happen in the next two weeks. If approved, he says the next step is for a bond issue to go on the ballot, most likely in November. If voters approve that, construction on the rink and field house would take 10 months to a year to complete.